hello Jim Breidenstein and hello Vanderberg Air Force Base, Lady Rocket Foundation with incredible women. This is the message of celebration of the 50th anniversary of moon landing and we are here because we know that you and entire team will be celebrating next Wednesday uh, announcement of your program. Let me introduce some incredible young women who also want to go to moon and Lady Rocket Foundation is creating a special program with the co-founder, with Susan Copeland, the educator, to have us participate in American success of moon. Please go ahead. Hi, my name is Valerie. I want to go to the moon. I'm here helping with Lady Rocket. Uh, I invite you to come to Vandenberg and Longpoke because this is where space happens. Fantastic, exactly. Jim, please come and visit the area where we are also striving to create California Space Center because among other wonderful, wonderful young generation which is here. Here comes another member, Kate. Hello, my name is Kate Nan. I am Space in all of us, and we come over to Vandenberg and Lombok. Yes, NASA visit us in Lombok, and soon. Yeah. I'm Sue Copeland, and I'm one of the co founders of the Lady Rocket Foundation. And uh, this is one of the opportunities that we offer our students is to um, expose them to space, space education, and things like space fashion. And these two young ladies. Um, love uh, fashion, they design uh, in uh, their own makeup and clothes, and uh, we're excited for them, uh, for the opportunities that they have. Because this is how I decided with help of Susan and also Grant, hello Grant, that we have to break the existing processes of how do we attract the generation to space. And it's not only STEM, not only science, we want to open it up to those who are artistic, Fashion is a human language that is really powerful. So Lady Rocket Foundation includes entrepreneurship, fashion, makeup, and art, and music. And this is why we are creating Fly Me to the Moon music event to celebrate the 50th anniversary of landing on the moon. Uh, welcome to Lombok. Please come visit us because we are doing it all based on our own budget, our own money, our own time, and our own passion. See you soon. And yes, this is the place where we want to create California Space Center. All the right. best to NASA. You guys are great. We have your back. Copernic Space is also coming your way. Bye bye. Welcome, also, especially young, talented students and artists. I am introducing today Carlos. Hello, my name is Carlos. I am an architectural student and artist here from Monaco. She has helped out a lot in, uh, in me and around the people. I've worked with her with the Lady Rocket Foundation since the very beginning to bring a space center here for many of us uh, young people from Lombok to get more jobs and to continue our economy. Thank you, Carlos. And the message is uh, city of Lombok terminated and stopped negotiations with me to bring California Space Center. And I thought, okay, c'est la vie, but I am back because I love local community and I am looking forward to... Hello, my back. dear astronauts. Hello, kids in Lompoc. Lady Rocket in Los Angeles with some incredible guys who are coming your way. Let me introduce them, please. Dwayne Brady, Saul Escudero, Daniel Rudrick. And they now know that Boys and Girls Club in Lompoc is waiting for incredible heroes, guardians of the galaxy, to show you how you can achieve success in your life. Can you tell us about your son? We're in our way. My son Bryce started at the Air Force Academy. He was chosen by Leon Panetta to be a part of the Panetta Group. He went to Washington, D.C. to work for one of our congressmen, Leon Panetta, then he worked for Governor Brown for a year. A uh, very astute kid. He's a teacher now at Brentwood School, but he's got, as a matter of fact, his first political speech is called Cautious Hope, and it's about your generation and bringing your generation to do what we should be doing as human beings, and that's expanding our minds, expanding this globe, and expanding our world, and making this a better universe. So now you know why Lady Rocket and Lady Rocket Foundation wants to bring this type of class of human beings yeah. to especially you guys in Lompoc, because we love you, and you deserve a lot of our attention. Be well. So how about so, by the way, can create 
a brand that goes all the way from Earth to Moon? Oh yeah, absolutely. We can take the brand all the way to the stratosphere. So we're we're very excited to be able to work with Lady Rocket and deliver that message with the brand recognition, as well as for all of you that have that astronaut in you. Right. And uh, my friend Dan was already in Lompoc, visited, he saw the Lady Rocket fundraising event for a Boys and Girls Club in Lompoc. So anyway, uh, we are coming your way, you are remembered, and we'll see you soon. Let's be better on Earth before we go into space. And we love Vandenberg. We want Vandenberg to become a headquarters for American space program. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye. Lady Rocket at Vandenberg Air Force Base, Lompoc, November 3rd. Greetings to all our astronauts, followers. And I am inviting you to be with us virtually or in person on November 10th for a spectacular launch of European Space Agency Copernicus Sentinel-6 satellite, which is going to contribute to our ability to fight climate change and watch what's happening with the oceans, especially their level, which is impacting our Malibu, Montecito and many other areas in California. I am also welcoming our Lompoc community. Watch us on the local Lady Rocket News TV program and stay in touch for a very important announcement about Copernic space. See you soon, Lady Rocket. So you see those uh, incredible people who came here. This is why I am being Lady Rocket because it helps us celebrate beyond. Yeah. Rachel, lovely to get you meeting Lady Rock.